Renting an e-bike in Toronto may get more expensive starting this spring. The proposed charges could see you paying $3 for a half hour ride on an e-bike, or if you're not a member of the bike share program, $7 for 30 minutes. The Toronto Parking Authority, which oversees the program, is proposing a new rate structure that includes charging members 10 cents per minute on an e-bike and 20 cents for non-members with an additional $1 undocking fee. At the face of it, it seems like a minor cost, but for those that rely on them most, and we're talking here about people that live in the inner suburbs and have the longest distances to travel, that adds an additional barrier to their daily commute. Cycling advocates like Allison Stewart say bike sharing systems provide the missing link in public transportation. But Stewart worries the bump in e-bike prices will keep people off them. On April 3rd, which is when this increase is proposed to take place, as is the already approved TTC fare increase, people who rely on bike share to be that connector to transit, active transportation are going to be paying upwards of $15 a day. The city argues battery-powered bikes require more costly maintenance and replacement compared to regular bikes and place greater pressure on staff who make sure they're charged overnight. It said in a statement, based on current ridership and membership projections, system expansion and investments in electrification, the current rate structure is no longer sustainable. Any new revenue raised is invested back onto the program. A change like that would create devastating impacts for precarious workers who deliver by e-bike. You know, right now, average pay for a single delivery is between $2.50 to $5. The union representing delivery riders across multiple apps in the GTA is calling on the city to find other ways to raise funds. And I think the city of Toronto, instead of putting the onus and the responsibility onto precarious workers can put pressure on apps like Uber and Skip and DoorDash, all of them, uh, to contribute to the costs of the infrastructure that they're profiting off of. TPA stresses the per minute fee is meant to ensure accessibility for all, not meant to exclude. Cycle Toronto would like to see bike share included in the cost recovery model used for on and off street parking. It agrees those who live in the downtown core do want more access to e-bikes. If the system has more e-bikes, then that's a win-win situation for everyone. The current bike share pricing structure has remained largely unchanged since 2017, despite the program tripling in size. The city hopes that by 2024, it can grow its fleet to 525 e-bikes to just over 1,800. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.